Zwom. Bemo. Hey everyone, and welcome to another Bemo Creative Bemo Fit video. This one was requested as well uh, from several people that have asked me because they, they vape and use e-cigs, and so they were wondering about whether e-cigs and vapes destroy their gains. Quick answer, yes. Yes, they do. Um, I've done a lot of research, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, e-cigarettes are used for a practice called vaping, but they're also called, there are also um, devices called e-cigs. And th the difference is e-cigarettes are normally one-time use, whereas vaping, you can use it multiple times. You just refill it. They come in the form of like a pen looking thing. Um, jewels, they basically look like old school thumbnail dr uh, thumb drives. And they are uh, very popular in the U.S. One in 20 people on average are vaping today. It's really kind of sad. Um, from the research I've done, they seem to be even more dangerous than cigarettes for people that vape. And I'll explain why later in this video. And the people around these people that vape, it's very dangerous for them too, regardless of the fact that they smell better than cigarettes. Usually they are not better. They're, they're just as bad, if not worse. So let's get into it. Um, vaping coats the lungs, not only with vapor, but also with harmful chemicals. Uh, vaping devices contain oils that you suck into your lungs called vape juice uh, with added nicotine and other potentially harmful chemicals added for flavoring and aroma. The main concerns that I had time to research are just in the juice itself, not in the other stuff that's added. So let's get into what's in this vape juice. Common ingredients, vitamin E is frequently used as a base for vape juice. It, uh, but just because it's vitamins doesn't mean it's good for you or safe. Sure, vitamin E is safe if you take it orally as a supplement or you rub it on your skin for, to help healing or things of that sort but not meant to be heated up and then inhaled into your lungs, searing hot. Uh, it's been found in the lungs of people with severe vaping related lung tissue damage. And I'll get into what kind of damage you can find here in a second. Um, diacetyl is a food additive used to enhance flavors and causes damage to small passageways in the lungs if you breathe it into your lungs often referred to as popcorn lung. I know you guys have heard of popcorn lung. The reason why it's called popcorn lung though, I researched, it's because the first time that it was discovered was people were complaining of breathing issues and pain in their lungs. They all worked in a popcorn factory that make that made microwave popcorn. And so when it was discovered that this, it was diacetyl, which is the butter flavoring that's on microwave popcorn, it's not actually real butter, it's butter flavoring called diacetyl. And that stuff, jacked up their lungs so that's what popcorn lung is formaldehyde is found in embalming fluid it's also found in vape juice it's a toxic chemical that causes lung disease and uh, heart disease among other things uh, diethylene glycol is a toxic chemical used in antifreeze is where i found it and linked to lung disease as well if inhaled acrolein is a herbicide primarily used to kill weeds it's in weed killer and it causes irreversible lung damage if breathed propylene glycol which is a common additive in food in processed foods it's, it's a dangerous chemical as well it's used to make things like antifreeze paint solvent and the smoke that's in fog machines and you're breathing this stuff in your lungs Okay, so uh, benzene is a volatile organic compound that I primarily found in car exhaust. So it might be a mechanical thing that causes benzene to be produced. It's a chemical reaction, maybe. And then nicotine, which is highly addictive, of course, and alters the neurotransmitters in the brain permanently. It has been found to uh, slow brain development in teens and affects memory, decision making, concentration, self-control, mood, among other things. You get the idea. Nicotine bad. Okay. There are literally thousands of other chemicals to analyze in vaping. 
So if you want more info on these, I added a link in the description to a study I found in the Journal of Chemical Research and Toxicology. They cited a study in which vape researchers found nearly 2,000 chemicals, most of which they don't know what they do to the human body because nobody's ever inhaled these things until the last decade or so when vape was invented. The potential harm is unknown, but it's probably not good, right? It's chemicals. So anyway... If you want more research, research study on that, uh, the, the link will be in the description. Let's get into some of the things I mentioned, the damage it can cause to your lungs. Um, popcorn lung was the first one I mentioned. Scientific name for, um, for popcorn lung is bronchiolitis obliterans. Basically, it obliterates small little alveoli, little, little tissues in your, in your airways, in your lungs permanently. Uh, sufferers often complain of wheezing, coughing, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Imagine that. And there's no treatment for popcorn lung. Another thing vaping causes is lipoid pneumonia, which is an inflammatory response to the lungs from vape oil. Symptoms include a chronic coughing, shortness of breath, and coughing up blood. Again, damage is also permanent, but you can stop coughing up blood if you stop vaping. Within a week or two, the coughing up blood thing goes away. Uh, vaping can also cause collapsed lung, pneumothorax, which a lot of you have heard of collapsed lung. From action movies and stuff a lot, you get collapsed lungs. Oh, he's got a collapsed lung. By causing weak lung tissue, and that lung tissue, the, it thins out because of vaping, and then it can burst and leak air. So the lung will collapse like a collapsing balloon if you let the air out. Uh, treating a collapsed lung may require a chest tube, surgery, and bed rest, but it can actually reattach to the inner lining of the body and re-expand itself, but it takes a long time and it is very painful. So I gotta say also that like regular cigarettes, secondhand vapor contains dangerous chemicals. Uh, while it's not drawn in as deeply into the lungs, non-smokers exposed to secondhand vape aerosol still get this stuff in their system. So of course, pregnant women, children, infants, and anyone with lung conditions should especially avoid exposure to secondhand vape as well as cigarette smoke, secondhand smoke. It's just not good. I mean, look at these guys in the upper right corner. How, how could it be good to breathe that? I, I don't know. Anyway. Vaping, is it healthier than cigarettes? Some people think it is, but I haven't found that to be true. Vape cigarettes are still harmful. Vaping and cigarettes are harmful, even though they don't, even though vape doesn't contain tobacco. Uh, most e-cigarettes contain more nicotine than regular cigarettes and produce more immediate damage. Why do I say that? Because regular cigarettes can cause lung cancer, breast cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and other diseases, but it typically takes years, if not decades, for these things to happen from smoking regular cigarettes. But you feel bad the whole time, but it doesn't get real bad for, for a while. But with vaping, I found research showing lung damage immediately, like within the first year or less from vaping. So it happens a lot quicker. So basically, yes, e-cigs and vaping ruins your gains, okay? So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to BMO Fit for more fitness videos, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Oh, subscribe to BMO Creative for more fitness videos. Thanks.